What up, Internet? I'm Young Guru, and welcome back to Long Live the Queen. In the last episode, we led a parade, gave a wonderful speech, mingled with nobility at a gala, successfully leaving delightful phrases in their ears, and uh, shamed with false flattery a woman coming for our father. Let us return in the fifth month of this calendar. Uh, still, still quite, quite angry. Let's look at our mood. Angry has overtaken willfulness. I'm thinking I might want to, I mean, these two, just hopping right around zero. Yeah, we might be able to drop angry a bit. Um, but, good lord, 2.82, uh, we're gonna finish off our public speaking, or no, our conversation completely this round, with intense overkill. I kind of wish those points could fall by the wayside to something else, then we'll boost intrigue to the max. I think we need court manners. Let's make sure I'm not... Yeah. Classes. Now we can speak with the best of them. Imitation is a form of flattery. Mirroring someone's gestures and reactions can lead them to subconsciously trust you and feel that you have bonded. Be careful not to make this seem like mimicry, which is insulting. You have nothing more to learn about flattery. You study the language of flowers and the secret meanings that can be communicated through the gift of a bouquet. You study the rules of behavior in foreign courts so that you may seem at home in any setting. Oh, nothing new from getting under and everything. It is the time of the year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. Oh, damn. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there is always some room for discretion. Counting failed. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Uh, hmm. Ah. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Do we have any uh, new healthcare laws we want to raise? Or do we want to let the rich live in a an abundant, opulent wealth. Let's keep it the same, because I don't know what the heck we're doing here. <clears throat> I think they're fine as they are. As you wish. Do you have any opinion on this, Jocelyn? Man with a slightly, definitely woman's name? Let us... Depressed and afraid. go here. <clears throat> Sitting in on court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleases your father, and it may be important for your future. Ooh, still angry. Skills. Plus three. Why, why, why plus three? Why? It's, it's worthless. Also, I don't think I can do Lumen anymore, because my auntie is gone. Let us... Classes. Intrigue, internal affairs. Intrigue, foreign intelligence. Uh, done. Are we going to hit 100? Yes, we are. Delightful. After years of marriage and three children, the Duchess of Lila divorced her second husband and refused to say why. Shortly afterwards, he was found dead in a nearby forest. The Duchess of Lila and her son, the Earl of Io, have been estranged ever since. The Earl of Io now lives with his sister, the Duchess of Mead. After the last Duke of Mead went into seclusion, he hired a stream of attractive young servants who had to be frequently replaced after injuries and accidents. He eventually died by falling from a high tower window, which his family covered up. But was it suicide they were hiding, 
or murder. No more to learn about internal affairs. Agents who have visited Borealis report that all known Lumen shamans seem to have no magical powers at all and perform their ritual displays with show and trickery. Rumor has it that the mother and older sister of the last Duchess of Elath were assassinated 20 years ago by agents from Sedna, which is why she, as sole remaining heir, was married off so young. <coughs> you are requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me, and the chains were wrapped around her. I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again. Since magic failed, demons that make you attack people. Is that even possible? <coughs> Hmm. We're definitely not pardoning him. But are we imprisoning or executing him? But uh, what is my character's demeanor? Uh, uh, boom. To the cell. Whether there were demons or not, you still killed the woman, your wife. I won't forgive you for that. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. He opens his mouth to argue with you further, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> I could visit the guy that I, uh, imprisoned. Ooh, Duchess of Ursul is back. <laughs> you have not yet reached the crystal. Are you making progress, or is it time for another plan? That would probably be the drastic action she mentioned earlier. I feel like the drastic action might be... You know what? I want to see it. I suppose I'll have to listen to another plan. Leave it to me. No, I want to hear it. Oh, no. oh, I want to know what you did. That night, an explosion rocks the castle. A, sh a section of stone near the royal treasury collapses, crushing the guards on duty. Nothing is stolen, at least nothing that is acknowledged publicly. But when you look at your father's face, you can see it in his eyes. The crystal is gone, and he knows that you are to blame. He will never trust you the same way again. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh, I really do wish I had not done that. <sighs> that, mm. Intelligence and ciphering. Ah, I feel bad about that one. Rumor has it that the Prince of Terax was humiliated by the public dissolution of his betrothal to an heiress after she declared him a coward. The Queen of Sanjia is wedded to a non noble, a court musician whom she initially took as a consort, barring any offspring from inheriting the throne. She has since passed new laws to give not only their children, but also the man himself an equal claim to the crown. Nice maneuver. You memorize special cipher alphabets where each letter is replaced by a symbol. Once, you, once these are memorized, you will not need to write down cipher sheets, and if the symbols do not look like letters, they can be hidden in decorations. You study an ancient book that has a list of thousands of words and pictograms for each of them. In the past, these were used for important messages, but only trained bards could effectively memorize enough symbols to handle the codes efficiently. You receive word that the murderer, of you, the murderer you condemned to prison has escaped. A large explosion rocked the jail he was in, destroying the walls and setting many dangerous criminals free. Oh... Oh, 
Oh, so many mistakes. Oh, I've made so many mistakes. It will now fall to the royal treasury to repair the damage. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> so much, so much failure. Inappropriate move, Duchess of Ur Ursel. Do you have it? You do have it, don't you? The crystal? Of course. Everything is ready for you. Right. Did you really have to kill the guards? If you regret their sacrifice, then do not let it go to waste. It's too late to turn back now. I have to do the best I can for my people. What do I do? Pick up the crystal with your bare hands. Press it against your chest over your heart and say, Illuminate. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay. Here we go. Illuminate! What in the world? You feel dizzy and both larger and lighter than you were before. The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. Wow. The priestess here is a friend of mine. I will come to your lessons in the faith and train you to use your powers. I should feel happy, I guess. I'm illumined now. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Oh, 2.7, unless we get an extra 0.6, is going to put me at 99.6. Uh, woof. Oh, man. How's my mood? Oh, full of anger. So much anger. I'm curious. No, okay, it doesn't go above 100. Let's try to finish these two off. Rumor has it that the king of that the king of Sanjia has become the true power behind the throne, and that he may also have the powers of a lumen. He is a controversial figure within the domain, but ministers who speak against him have been known to disappear. Okay, that's that's less good. Ugh. Oh, only 97. Okay. You learn to manipulate special boxes and jewelry with secret compartments to hide messages. A rare few have locks almost as complicated as the ciphers themselves. You learn that the more you use a code, the easier it is for enemies to break. The most secure cipher is one that is only used for a single message. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan, and Duke Regent of Aleth, has passed away. This isn't really a surprise, he was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. It's the implications, Mac. It's the implication. With the control of Aleth in doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Arise, the Duchess of Lila, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Novan history failed almost the entire eastern border. Internal affairs success. Duchess Arise almost certainly killed her second husband after she divorced him. Her son, the Earl of Io, apparently hates and fears her. And the last Duke of Mead died in mysterious circumstances while she was around, which meant the title of Mead passed to Arise's daughter. But without proof, she couldn't be punished. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar, or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. The Earl of Ishtar has suggested another possibility. You and Adair are both young, 
not too far apart in age. He requests that we accept the boy as your future husband and keep him here at the castle. <laughs> oh, Lord. I didn't think this game's decision trees would be this taxing. Um, definitely not going to go leave him with Arise. Because uh, we know exactly why that's terrible, terrible, terrible news. The grandfather is old and wise. Presumably. Soon to die, so, you know, leave the kid in the hands of somebody who won't be around too long. Marry him would be politically savvy. <laughs> Your uncle. Is that the, uh, the guy who hates Arise? I feel like they want you to send him to the grandfather. But that might backfire on me. Now, let the old man do one last thing. The Earl of Ishtar is the closest blood relation that Adair has. He should be regent. As you wish. My father is a pushover. What a joke. Um, what are we doing? <clears throat> okay, we can drop our anger, because we don't really need that anymore. Let's do this. You spend the weekend hold up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. And with that, we have entered into the sixth. Angry did not go down. Oh, that angry and afraid. Oh, whoops. Anyway, with that, we have entered into the sixth month. And we will call it an episode. I'm Young Guru. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you next time.